Did you just drop that deer? I did just drop that deer. <laughs> There's a hell of an arc happening in that swing bridge right now. It's power. It's <laughs> power. Not bad, is it? Hot. Oh. Yeah, not too bad of a walk. Not a bit track. muggy, a bit humid. Yep. Sandflies love us. <laughs> Getting there though. Get Sorry for the people behind the TV having to listen to me. It's alright. I swear I'll be a good commentator for the trip. No, who are we waiting for? <laughs> We're waiting for our old granddad. He's just uh, making his way up the trip now. Here he is. Five and six and 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 <laughs> We're on our way. <laughs> Too easy. Is it it's a first big, eh? First big rooting, eh? Yeah. It's hard to tell if it's a sour or a boar, but it's all the way, though, eh? All the way in. You can feel the pig rooting over there? First yeah. pig rooting on the track. Maybe. I bought these thingies. Fuck. I got Evergo. This is how fucking we dance. Look. I got fucking. This is how I do. And. Wait. Slummy! <laughs> I got slummy as well. Yeah. I got crackers. I got cheese. <laughs> we'll be feasting, boys. Fucking right. reckon. Feasting, alright. Yeah. That's gonna mow my chemi down. And then I'll eat my shanty back steaks tonight. There's a lot of um, small prints in here. Yeah. Must be a lot of yearlings. Yeah. So this would be a good fact to sit on at night. Get the wind right. So, we've just came, what, 4k from the hut, yeah. up here, and we spotted the target species, which is a chamois buck, or we assume he's a buck, because he's by himself, he's currently 1.5k away, yep. up in some steep bluffy stuff, yep, not too bad. Currently, he's above us, which is a big problem, mm. so we need to somehow slink our way around. Around above him somehow. That is going to prove to be quite difficult, I'd imagine. Let's go to the shin. Why don't we? We've got a bit of um, a hike. <laughs> the first little face. It's going to be a bit of a rock climb, but a bit of a climb. Shammy hunting, eh? Like, that'd be me standing nicely straight up and down. I can touch the side. 
This is some pretty steep shit. Yeah. Hands on, that's for sure. There you go. Car wasn't it? Up we go. <laughs> <laughs> up, up, up we go. So just this locky back is uh, spotting for me. We spotted the chamois. He's uh, he's uh, about 400 meters up on a screen. He's going to direct me in off the radio. So yeah, hopefully everything plans out. We'll have a chamois on the deck. Oh, I'm in some steep stuff now. So the chamois buck is just up over this little bit here, and uh, Locky is directing me in. He's down there, sitting in the shade of his binoculars and his radio. So I think he got the better end of the deal, but oh well. Get in close to the shimmy and let's make it what happen. Hey, right, Lockie, give me not that. Yeah, so he's still playing there. Facing away from you, it's perfect as normal. You are in a really good spot. I'd go and hug that like the north face that you can see to your right, tug that as much as you can so he can't possibly see you and just try and push you away for he won't be able to see you and you'll be able to get up above him. He, oh, so he's standing up right now, but he's just cruising. So that's the gut I'm going to creep over, just up and through there. So the chamois is right about 100 meters that way. And he's still chilling around, so. But look at the country we're in. I mean, look at the bluffy that is. With that stuff up there. That is almost unclimbable. He's just kind of like standing there, just stretching out, looking around a little bit. Copy that. So, heck, what happened? I uh, stalked successfully into 10 metres off a chamois buck. <laughs> but what happened, heck? <laughs> That's where it ended. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me oh my. I'll tell you what. If any of you know what it's like sitting back and watching a guy through binoculars chasing an animal, you know exactly how I felt pulling my hair out down the bottom here. <laughs> Oh, uh, unfortunately, he couldn't see a couple of the waterfalls that I used as landmarks for him, and so what he thought was num number one waterfall was number two waterfall, which was the one he should have gone towards and down. If he'd done that, he would have shot at 10 metres quite early on. <laughs> unfortunately, he went past it and didn't have his radio up enough for me to warn him to go back. <laughs> so... Um, he got there in the end, got real close, but the chamois was aware of him by this stage, so. And the animal goes running away with Hector's pride. <laughs> yeah, and then I just about shot it. They come running all the way down. It's from way up there, they come running all the way down to about, I don't know, must have been about 100 yards from me. From about 500, no, oh, probably even further, probably 800 yards. That was quick, and then me, and he was knackered by the time he got down to me, and I was knackered trying to catch up to him. 
So the accommodation didn't work out. <laughs> no, unfortunately. But now we're sitting up here waiting for a deer to come up because we've seen three of them below us earlier today. So fingers crossed. If not, we're going to have to make our way down from this abyss and um, butt crawl our way down this steep hill. Mm. Nice. Back to that. <laughs> Holy must have spined it. <laughs> shit. Okay. Did you just drop that deer? I did just drop that deer. I must have spined it. It was quite a hard quartering away shot. So I think I spined him. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. That was pretty cool. <laughs> what distance was it? 38 yards. 38 yards. Same distance you had that stag at the last trip. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm this just, time? Gonna, just gonna go sneak out. Awesome. There you go. He's got the death roll yeah. going, but I think I've spawned him. Yep, there's no way he's going back up. Oh, hey, at least we've got some footage. <laughs> <laughs> and some meat. And some meat. So not entirely useless, us bow hunters. Crikey, I don't know exactly what happened in the shot though. Got a feeling... It was, I must have like, because it was quite a hard quartering away shot. And the shot broke, it felt good. I was just wondering if it's just like, it's turned to swing away. It's gone and put, it's gone and smoked in the back of the head. I think he's shot off. So I was aiming hard up and behind here. He's, we'll have a look at the footage, but I'm sure he's just ducked out of the way. Cuts him in the back of the head. <laughs> Most rifle hunters would be stoked for that. Yeah. In the footage. Mm. Some good tasting venison right there. Oh, what a mission. I think we're ready to go back to the hut. Mate, that Coca-Cola back at the waiting for me at the hut is going down. <laughs> going down harder than that deer did. Pre-herbed. <sighs> Got a bit of cleaning to do. <laughs> back steak. <laughs> oh. Yeah, on this trip. I do. It's like my hunting. <laughs> Fuck off, Hector. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go to Mount Patutu. 
snack time, lucky. Snack time, cheese and crackers. And trying to avoid sand flies. Ah. Uh, you not going? Nah, no, I'm not going there. Hey. I'm going. You coming? Alright, chop chop, let's go. <laughs> day two. We have come out to the same spot as yesterday, the glass, we spotted that chamois and we're going to make the most of the weather because what, one o'clock this afternoon and it's going to pour down according to the forecast. Yeah, about 12, 11 mils, mm. which we're already pretty soaked going through <laughs> the bush. It's a good dump of rain last night and then yep. it's been drizzling all morning. Mm. Uh, we have got a new update though. Oh, heck here's buddy shot himself a stoke at the hut. <laughs> Spotted out the window when I was making breakfast and whipped out there with my bow and smacked it. <sighs> and buddy put a photo up, upload on the video. It's quite cool. It's probably one of those things you don't get to see very often or don't get the chance to shoot very often. So. Found some meme country, but boy, it is not going to turn out well. Alright, we're going to tuck our towels and then head home. <laughs> she's getting a bit wet, she's just, the front's a coming through now, so mm, she's um, going to be a wet walk home. So we might get out of here before we start getting drenched. It's coming in hard now. Yeah, it's coming in sideways. You ready to start the morning? We ready to start the morning. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's the day of the main event for a hunt. This is the like the first one yesterday. What do you reckon, Hick? I reckon you're doing a pretty fine job there, Lockie. Yeah. Wish I didn't have to swim around all these wasps. Better than flies, I suppose. Nope. Cheers. Look at him. <laughs> How many times have you done that in your lifetime, Lockie? Enough. <laughs> we're, we're already pre-herbed off the, off say, the front. Maybe a <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I wasn't thinking I was going to be overly successful on the deer front and this trip. Do you want to just give us a little uh, detail of how you shot this animal blocky? I smoked it, alright? <laughs> See, it dropped like a sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You young fellas have no idea. <laughs> And voila! <laughs> <laughs> so what gear are you modelling there, Ben? Um... <laughs> <laughs> this one? Spiker? <laughs> 
Yeah. I recommend for every hunter has to buy a bag of these bad boys, Crocs. <laughs> Crocs, 100%. Four wheel drive, two wheel drive, and diff lock Crocs. <laughs> We've all got them on. Yeah. <laughs> the key to hunting success. <laughs> yeah. no, that is exactly that right. and a good night's sleep in the hut, or day sleep <laughs> in the hut. <laughs> so, it's day three. Day three. We have just gone and spinned out, well, boned out and butterflied the meat out. Fully recharged. I've been as bloody had as 24 <laughs> hours in the hut. <laughs> He's well rearing to go. <laughs> Oh well, we better get into it, eh? Get out of here in record time. <laughs> it's not dumb, I can fight it, but it's easy to take it back. Come back here, here. Right. <laughs> Go to sleep now. I should block you. Get a video of this because it's not very often you see Hat Ben do house chores. What off? I was gonna say something about video. Uh, I think they might put it on the friggin' YouTube, but I might get told off by Olivia. So, hey, Olivia, how's it going? <laughs> 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 Raining cats and dogs, isn't it? Yeah. Bo box of fluffies today, definitely. Should be all right. Walk out, nice and cool. Not gonna cook. Um, what's the time now? Half past. Tonight. Just before we go, actually, I'm not sure there's undercover or something. We need to turn around and walk that way. Nah. So much. Are we off, are we? Away from the chamois. Yeah, I know. Fuck, <laughs> fuck. You didn't see any, so I guess so. <laughs> what chamois? I stayed in the hut all weekend. What? Oh. <laughs> Never again. Never. <laughs> I bet you next weekend you'll be all fainting to come back. Poor <laughs> <Cool>, bye. <laughs> I've been dragged from that.